Okay, so Payne's Court asked me to do a little research article, kind of an insurance policy article. And I'm doing some research here on um, dead government officials. And when he started talking to me about senators having accidents and stuff, the first one that came to mind was uh, Senator Ted Stevens. So... <clears throat> Ted Stevens was pretty crooked. He was the one that was pushing the first couple incarnations of the CISPA Act about six or seven years ago. And then he died in a mysterious <coughs> plane accident. <clears throat> so uh, the article, the first article I have here is from the Huffington Post. A federal judge on Wednesday rejected arguments from four attorneys who prosecuted the late Senator Ted Stevens to keep private report. That reveals details of their mishandling of the case, but said he will not hold them criminally responsible for their ill-gotten verdict. I'll be including links for these articles along with the video. Um, U.S. District Judge Emmett Sullivan ordered that a 500-page report from the Justice Department's botched corruption case against Stevens be released March 15th along with any written objections to the attorney targeted in the investigation of which include last November. All right. So I'm going to pause that and load the next article. Okay, so this is uh, my second article, and these are just articles on um, <clears throat> mysterious deaths and accidents of uh, Congress congressmen and members of the Senate. Gabrielle Giffords calls for patience on third anniversary of shooting. Former <coughs> Representative Gabriel Giffords, a gunshot survivor, gun control advocate, called for patience on Gun reform in a column published in the New York Times on Wednesday, and the co-op printed on the third anniversary of the assault that left six of her constituents dead and Giffords in critical condition. The former representative wrote of her endless repetitive and painful rehabilitation. She admitted con congressional inaction on gun control has left her "quote unquote" disappointed, but her expressed optimism is important in the election year. Um, sometimes I won't be able to find what I'm looking for, but I'm just <clears throat> going from memory here. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll <clears throat> do a search, um, Senators, that's mysterious. And then these are the, the articles of interest that Payne mentioned. And the first one here, of course, is Paul Wellstone and Mel Carnahan's mysterious death, which I didn't really know much about. <laughs> this is going back about 13 or 14 years. Most people are not well aware of how two strange deaths dramatically changed the balance of power in the U.S. government for two recent years. Democratic Senate candidate Mel Carnahan died in a private plane crash on October 16, 2000, just three weeks before the 2000 elections, Mr. Carnahan went on to win the race as a dead man against rival John Ashcroft, who went on to become appointed U.S. Attorney John Ashcroft. Just two weeks before 2002 elections, Democratic Senate candidate Paul Wellstone was killed in a plane crash. His wife died with him while Stone had been projected to win the election. You can check these uh, articles and links. I'll be posting them in the bottom of my comment section. Okay, so we're scrolling down. We're looking for articles that are not the same. Um, death of Senator from Minnesota. Minnesota still shrouded. A mystery. Paul Wellstone wasn't the first senator from Minnesota to die in a plane crash. That dubious distinction belongs to Ernest P. London, who was killed along with 24 other people 69 years ago this week on August 31st, 1940, when his commercial airliner plunged into alfalfa field near foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountain during a violent thunderstorm. Payne's comment to this was, and he flies quite a bit, was uh, 
air travel is supposed to be the most safest form of travel. In other words, you're more likely to die in a car crash than you are a plane crash. Okay, so my next article is here. The mysterious death of Senator John Ashbrook, posted by Bob. My boss on Capitol Hill was Congressman John Ashbrook of Ohio, not Senator John Ashcraft of Missouri. John had previously prevented the Martin Luther King holiday, and the year he died, it became law. In 1982, John Ashbrook decided to leave the House after 22 years of run for the Senate against the super liberal Democratic incumbent Howard Metzenbaum. There was no doubt. that John would get the Republican nomination from the primary. Let's just scroll down real quick and see how he died. And either Bono or Ashbrook di died after the nomination. Mysteria of a hemorrhage from a tiny perforation on the inside of his stomach. You get that from the old Borgia method of drinking crushed glass in a drink. All right, let's let's scroll down. We know that Trayvon Martin is not a senator. Bill Nelson, mysterious dolphin deaths. All right. And I'll just scroll through these articles and kind of read them. Some of them are kind of repetitive. The Ministry of Senator's Death, Senator Michael Dolphin. We'll open that in a new window. That way we can keep working. Serious deaths of nine golf oil spill whistleblowers. Mysterious death of Jan Stafford, eighteen eighty five. Mysterious death of John Hines, an ex senator. FDA steps up probe of mysterious deaths from dog treats. The death, mystery death of a senator's death. Senator Michael Dufferin came old fashioned way in a brown manila envelope in Ottawa. Of course, it, there was no return address and the stamps were not even canceled her stamp so he did not know where it originated from. All he knew was it was just trouble he was looking at. Okay, that last article I left out of the list because it was a senator from, from Canada. Um, this next article here is not a senator or congressman but a government official. Uh, a plane crash that killed Hawaii Department Health Directors Loretta Fuddy on Wednesday has piqued the interest of a conspiracy theorist because of her, her role in verifying President Obama's birth certificate. So that might be something that um, former former Secret Service agent uh, Daniel Bongino might want to look into that. And then I got another one here lined up. This one I heard Payne mention but I don't know anything about. <laughs> GBI probing deaths of former lawmaker and her husband. Former Senator Nancy Schaefer and her husband were found dead in their home in North Georgia and it's being investigated as a possible murder suicide. Authorities said Friday. Six GBI agents were at the home investigating the request of Habersham County Sheriff's Department. Mur murder suicide, so not a plane crash for these two.
Okay, I'm gonna in, add to this list uh, Andrew Levy. Two thousand and one was uh, American intern for the Federal Bureau of Prisons in D.C. She was also um, an intern for a congressman or a senator. I forget his name at the time. If we look, if I look here, I'll find it. The investigation led to media allegations of an affair with married then U.S. Representative Gary Conduit, a five-term Democrat representing California's 18th Congressional District and a senior member of the House Permanent Select Committee's on Intelligence. Conduit was never named a suspect by police and was eventually cleared of involvement. Howard Cloud of suspicion raised by the intense media focus of the missing intern and later revelation of the affair led to his loss in 2002 re-election campaign. Okay, so this is just a short list of uh, congressmen and senators who died of mysterious death. I threw a couple interns in there. And um, if anybody else is interested in doing research on this, I'm sure there's a lot of other information to be found. Um, if you're interested in doing research in this, you could paste your, post your research on the complaints of Obamacare forums, there's a section called Pain Court Dungeon, and that would be an appropriate place. You just click on the link, subscribe to the um, website, and you know, Pain's Court Dungeon is the place to. I think it even says here post uh, post topics of interest here that may not be relevant to Obamacare, but may be strange, unusual, or odd. Uh, 